SF2470 Spray Application Prior to application, always follow the current maintenance manual and or technical service document prior to performing maintenance. Inspect surfaces that will come in contact with abject products for corrosion and take corrective action based on current maintenance manual requirements. Check the expiration date on the outer packaging to ensure that the material has not exceeded the shelf life. Ensure that gloves, safety glasses, and dust mask are worn. Surfaces that come in contact with the abject products shall be wiped with a clean, solvent-dampened cloth, followed by a clean, dry cloth to remove any remaining paint, dust, grease, fingerprints, or any other contamination prior to installation. Follow manufacturer instructions to set up Sulzer Spray Applicator Tool. Remove cartridge cap by twisting counterclockwise and discard. Ensure alignment tabs on the bottom of the straw line up with the slots on the cartridge tip. Attach mixing straw to cartridge by inserting over cartridge tip and twisting locking nut clockwise until locked. With the pistons of the sealant dispenser fully to the rear, insert the dual cartridge into the sealant dispenser until it clicks into place. Connect the air supply at the bottom of the sealant dispenser. Air supply should provide 50 to 100 PSI of dry air. Proper priming is critical for product performance. Set the fluid level to 5. Set the air level to the lowest setting. Over a suitable waste container, with mixing straw pointing upward at a 45 degree angle and resin side over hardener side, Prime mixing element by dispensing 3 seconds of sealant to remove air bubbles from the cartridge. Keeping the mixing straw pointing upward at a 45 degree angle, rotate the cartridge 180 degrees so that hardener side is over resin side and dispense 3 more seconds of sealant into the waste container to remove air bubbles from the opposite side of the cartridge. Verify that the cartridge is bubble free and repeat as needed. Note: Dispense sealant immediately as sealant can begin to gel inside the mixing straw. If dispensing is halted and the material has begun to gel in the straw, use a new mixing straw and prime. Adjust the fluid level to the 5 setting and the air level to the 3 setting. If the spray generates too much mist, then reduce the air level. If the spray splatters and is not smooth, then increase the air level. Note: Small adjustments to the air level will make a dramatic difference. The sealant dispenser nozzle should be kept perpendicular to the surface and one foot away from the part. Sweep the nozzle smoothly across the surface at approximately one foot per second. For best results, spray the entire area without stopping. If applying multiple coats, wait 8 to 14 minutes between coats. When applying multiple coats, spray in a cross pattern. If the first coat was left to right, then the second coat should be sprayed top to bottom or vice versa. Reuse and clean up. Reuse a partial cartridge within 24 hours only. To release plunger, press the red piston release button on the bottom of the sealant dispenser grip until the plungers reach the back of the dispenser. Disconnect the air hose from the nozzle of the mixing straw by pressing the quick disconnect on the fitting and pulling the air hose free. Lift cartridge out of dispenser. Discard cartridge according to standard shop procedures. If partial cartridge is to be reused, leave mixing straw in place to prevent moisture absorption. Wipe any sealant from dispenser. Suitable solvents include isopropyl alcohol, SkyClean, or CitraSafe.